Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will demonstrate my new product which is Vehicle Movement Register System version 1.0. After downloading this from my website, you can first unzip this folder. So just right click and extract all. Extract. It has been extracted into the new folder. Now we have this Excel file. Just right click on this, go to the properties. And first you have to unblock this and click on apply and OK. Now just open this file. Okay, so this is the login page of vehicle movement register. And here you can log in with admin ID first. So the default ID is admin 1 ABCD small case and click on login or just hit the enter. Now this is the main page and here I have added few drivers and few vehicles but you can delete them and you can add more. So let me show you the each and every functionality here. So on the left hand side we have a navigation panel wherein we have given multiple buttons to open the different forms. And on the top side we have the name of the current user. We have logged in with admin1. And the role of this person is admin. So you can create the new users using the user management. The first button is the user management. Just click on this button and here you can add a new user. Let's say I'm adding a new user as PK, putting the password as ABCD or any other password, whatever you want. And role I can define here, let's say user. Click on submit, new user has been added. Now. I can log in from the starting using this user ID which is PK and password ABCD. Let's close this. Then the next thing we have the vehicle master. First we have to create the vehicle master. Just open this and here you can add a new vehicle. We have added three vehicles. You can delete them. So let's say I want to add a new vehicle. I have a vehicle number AA vv-1122 this is some dummy number and the mileage of this vehicle is for example 20 the vehicle type is i'm saying this is a truck and you can add any other new vehicle type also using this plus button just go here add a new vehicle type here and click on add button after that, you can click on this refresh button that vehicle type will appear here in the list. So you can modify this list. Now select the fuel type of that vehicle. So I'm selecting here, let's say diesel. If you want to put some remarks here, so let's say I'm putting here our remarks as 18 ton capacity or whatever you want. Just submit this. Now we can see a new vehicle here that is truck and just close this. Now at bottom we have available vehicle list and available driver list. We are not able to see that new vehicle so we can just click on this refresh button. Now we are able to see that vehicle here. Okay, We just have added. Now the next thing is the driver master. So just click on the driver master. We have added few driver you can delete them and let's add a new driver. I am putting here new driver names. Jack. You can put the contact number. So I'm putting some dummy number here. Okay. And the license number. So I'm again putting some dummy number here. Then the license expiry date you can select from this calendar. So let's say I'm selecting some random license expiry date. Assigned vehicle number. Have you assigned a default vehicle number? This is not a mandatory field you can see, but still if you want to select. So these are the vehicle numbers which we have in our list. So let's say the new created vehicle number, this one, I'm assigning this one. You can put any comments, whatever you want. Otherwise I'm putting submit. We can see that driver appearing here, check. Now let's close this. Again, if I refresh this, I will see a new driver here in this list in the available driver that is Jack. That is how you can add a new vehicle and the driver. Okay. Now the next one is the manage list. So if I click here on the manage list, we have a list for authorized by purpose of the trip, status, vehicle type and the fuel type. If you want to add 
anything let's say authorized by i'm putting here let's say pk and i add so that pk will appear here automatically all right this is the logout button you can simply log out from the tool and this is email us if you want to see our email id you can just click and see that and you can visit our website using this button now to add a new trip we can use this add new trip button or we can select any available vehicle or available driver from here so let me show you how we can add a trip from here first so let's click on this button and from here we can select a vehicle so let's say i'm selecting this vehicle we just have added aavv and 1122 driver name i'm selecting here jack and vehicle type automatically will appear here date and time out use this calendar to select the date and time out and you can select the time here whatever time you want am or pm and just click on any date automatically date and time will appear here date and time in you can fill it later once the vehicle is back into the transport house and duration automatically will appear here so destination let's say i'm putting here mumbai purpose of the trip we have added delivery or pickup so let's say I'm selecting delivery. You can add new purpose of trip from here. You can just add new and then click on this refresh button that will appear automatically in the drop down. Meter reading out. So when this truck is going out, you can just note the meter reading. So I'm just putting some random meter reading. Meter reading in, you will fill once truck is back. Okay. Fuel level out. So I'm putting some random number of the fuel level out let's say 80 and the mileage will come automatically we have fill it but you can change it here also authorize by you can just add a new authorize by from here just click and let's say i'm adding here pk and click on add that authorize by is added now refresh this automatically it will appear here Cargo details, you can add some, if it is a cargo truck, then you can add some information like computers, furnitures or anything. Okay. I'm keeping it blank for now and uh, trip status will be in transit. In this case, you can put some remarks for your reference and just click on submit. So that new trip has been added. You can see and the vehicle number we have taken AAVV. And automatically, if you see in the available vehicles, now that vehicle will not appear here. And the driver we have taken jack, now it will not appear in the available driver. All right. Now to add a new trip, you can select a vehicle also from here. So let's say I want to take this bus and I want to add a trip here using this bus. So let's click on this add a new trip. So automatically that vehicle will be filled and you can select a driver here and some date and time. So I'm taking, let's say this one and uh, then I'm taking the destination as New Delhi and purpose. So let's say pick up and meter reading something and fuel level authorized by and detail summit. So we can see that here also now available vehicles are only two because two are already in transit mode. Now to update the existing record, you can simply select that and click on this update existing record or you can just double click on that record also. So let's say I want to update this truck record, double click on this and now I'm saying, okay, this has come back and uh, I'm selecting the date as eight automatically it is taking the duration as 18 hours okay i will fill some information like meter reading thing meter reading is this and as i come out automatically it is taking the distance covered the fuel level let's say i'm taking the fuel level as 10 now and you can put some remarks also but before that i'm saying okay this is unloading or unloaded if I select is unloaded by default, this vehicle will be available for the next trip, right? So if I submit, you will see that vehicle in this list and the driver Jack also will be available for the next trip. Submit. So here you can see this vehicle is available and this driver is also available. Okay. And this trip is completed. If you want to select the data for a particular date range, you can just uncheck this and then you can select the date 
so let's say I'm selecting here 10th June and refresh then that data will appear here okay because we are using the date and time so you can't select here 7 June you have to take the 8 June to see the data whole data for the 7 June okay you can use this filter also let's say I want to see by the vehicle number or the driver name okay wherever all the trip of the driver Raj I can simply just refresh it will show me the data only for Raj you can sort also this data let me delete this and let me show you to sort this data let's say by trip ID you can use the ascending and descending order or by vehicle number or any other field you can see here we have multiple fields okay then this is for the update existing we have just seen that and this is for to delete the selected record so if you have added by mistake or you want to delete a record so let's say for this vehicle ABC 1 2 3 I want to delete it and as I delete it that vehicle will be available for next trip right so you can see we have three vehicles and we don't have the driver Raj here that will appear here also so select this and delete okay so here you can see that is appearing and we have only one trip now and this one is you can send the whatsapp to the driver of this particular trip a trip is in transit and you want to send some message to the driver you can select and click on this it will open a uh, wave whatsapp and the chat window for that particular driver you can just send directly whatsapp to that driver okay and just click on this export to excel it will export all data available in that list box okay for the reporting purpose or any other purpose you can send the whatsapp to the driver from here also you can simply select the driver and just click on this whatsapp to driver button it will open babe whatsapp and uh, the chat window for that particular driver and you can send it from here and friends if you want to work on the excel then you can simply minimize this tool from using this button and you can maximize again using this button so friends that is how you can use this vehicle movement register system you can get it from my website friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching